What's good, YouTube? This your neighborhood DraftKings Attic. Bring you my top picks for Sunday's main DFS slate. All right, guys. I don't even want to talk about today's slate that just went down on Saturday, man. A lot of potholes in the road, if you know what I mean. And uh, hopefully you guys avoided some of them and uh, cashed. All right. I played one single entry double up, and uh, I missed the cash line by about 15 points, guys. All right. Unfortunately for me, I had some San Antonio players. And um, if you was following the game today, you saw how that turned out. It was trash. But anyway, on to tomorrow, guys. That's why you practice good bankroll management. I won $35 yesterday. I bet five today. All right. I didn't give it all back. All right. I played light because, again, I don't like the slate. So, again, for tomorrow, another four-game slate. I personally don't like four-game slates. That's just me. So, I'll be playing light again tomorrow or may even, you know, take off tomorrow. But... Still just put in about an hour of research, hour and a half research, and uh, these are the plays that I like at the moment. But, of course, on a four-game slate, any major news that comes out tomorrow could lead to a shift in what direction you go in because some good value may open up. But, anywho, as of tonight, here's who I like. So let's go ahead and start off at the top, guys. So got a couple of expensive guys at the top, LeBron, James, Embiid, and Harden. All right, so if you know me, guys, and you've been watching me long enough, you know who I'm going with, right? It's Ben Simmons, right? Nope, James. LeBron James. Come on. This is the king here, guys. All right. They just lost the game. that They should have won. They got beat by 15 points. You know, he's seen on Twitter talking about everybody needs to step up. So I expect him to do his do the same, practice what he preach, and step up. So if you look at the splits, the last time L.A. and uh, Cleveland played, he put up 70 DraftKings points. He's going to be playing against a lot of the guys that he got traded, you know, a.k.a. Mr. IT. All righty. But anywho, I think it's going to be a motion game. I think they're going to show up. I think Cleveland's going to come in and want to play hard. Same thing with Los Angeles. So I expect this to be a good game. So I'm going to have a lot of pieces from this game. But got to have the king, man. He's pretty much Cleveland in the, in the nutshell, guys. All right. Another person from that game that I like, guys, who's been hot lately is Lopez. My boy Robin. Or Brooke Lopez, I'm sorry. <laughs> so... I know he didn't have a good game last time the two teams met, but he only played 22 minutes. Here lately, he's been playing 30-plus minutes, and he's been shooting the ball, guys. 18 shots in the last couple of games. Back at home, playing against Cleveland. Again, this team has really been playing ball, guys. So, again, if you look at right here, you know, came up short against Denver, and uh, they beat Orlando, right? Came up short against Portland, but you see they're staying close with teams, guys. All right? So, I like them coming off a day's rest. They didn't play today. I like Brooke Lopez to uh, continue to, to exceed value, guys. So, you know, he's 5.4K, so if he can get us about 30 DK points, that would be great. In the last three games, he's doing that. So I expect him to keep the streak going against Cleveland, which is a good team versus the center. All right, guys, another play I like tonight, J.J. Reddick in Brooklyn, guys. Again, he averages around 25 DraftKings points. All right. For 5K, this is about what you need. It's 25 to 30. And if you can get 25 as a floor and uh, have a ceiling of 30, that'll be great. So I like J.J. Reddick versus Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a scrappy team. They've been playing teams well. And, uh, yeah, my man's been getting around 30 DK points, except for this game in Charlotte. Looked like they got blew out. So he only played 24. But I expect J.J. Reddick to play 30 minutes in a game that should be competitive. So I like J.J. Reddick for his price, man. Nice price point. Help me fit in LeBron James. All right. Another guy I got I like, again, going back to that Cleveland game, Lonzo Ball. Lonzo been balling lately, guys. He's chunking up threes, as you can see right here, 8-13 and 13 in the last couple of games, 16 field goals, playing 30-plus minutes. So he's back, man. He's at home playing against Cleveland. Again, I expect this to be a very competitive game. As like you see on the screen, guys, um, my man put up 43 DK points last time his team met in 37 minutes. He almost had a triple-double. All right, 13 points, 11 assists, 8 field goals. Again, I like this game. And on small slates, I like to focus on certain games. All right, so they go four plays, guys. My fifth and final play that I'm going to go with, guys, and this one's going to be a head scratcher, all right? All right, but I like them, again, in a small slate. I like minutes, people who play large minutes, and large minutes means opportunities for points. All right. Ariza for Threza versus Dallas, man. Dallas. I like Trevor Ariza, guys. 
So we look at the splits versus this team. They've played twice. He averaged 31 minutes, and he's putting up about 28 DraftKings points, almost 30, which is 6x. He averages 5x. All right? Works for me. All right? So, again, I expect Ariza to play a lot of minutes. You see he averaged 36 minutes over the last couple of games. You know, they got a couple of injuries, I believe. The uh, What's that guy's name? The Ford. Anderson, Rhino. You know, he's been out. So, Trevor Reza been getting all the minutes he can handle, guys. All right. So, I like Trevor Reza versus Dallas again. Two games, averaging 28 DraftKings points. That's a nice, nice average. His floor is 25. And, you know, Trevor Reza's three-point field goal is dropping, man. You know, he could put up 35, 40 DK points for you. Well, I don't know about 30. I don't know about 40, but maybe 35. All right. Get a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists, maybe some blocks. You know, but, you know, Reza's a scrappy player, man. Maybe a couple of steals. You see, averaging 2.5 steals versus this team. So, all right. Like you in Trevor Reza, guys. So, that's my top five plays. One, two, three, four, five. Got to get you some King James, guys. All right. Harden is questionable with a knee issue. All right. If he's out, we got to get us some of this some of this uh, Chris Paul, guys. If Harden's out, just lock in Chris Paul, man, versus Dallas. All right. Don't get too cute. Just lock him in. And maybe E. Gordon, too. All right, if Harden is out, Eric Gordon, because I'm pretty sure he's going to get the start. They're not going to start Gerald Green, and this guy's 5K. All right, and Eric Gordon, look at him, man. He can go off for 35, 40 points if he gets that three ball hopping. So for 5K, he'll be a lock if Harden is ruled out, guys. All right, so again, guys, tomorrow slate, four games, man. Not a lot of places you can go. Some places you can go, all right. This is how I'm, I'm going to do my research as far as some of my uh, – my other spots, all right? So I've been using this app called Draft Dashboard, guys. All right? So what I like about it is a position optimizer. You go over here and um, – oh, it's updating. Great. Well, that's all good because it's better to get the information tomorrow when you have up-to-date information and data as far as injuries and everything, guys. But you come in here, and it has it kind of laid out for you already, all right? So if you – oh, that's not what I want. I want the uh, main slate. There we go. All right, guys, so if you come in here, you look at point guard, and it breaks it down by position, and you can see all the data over here that you need to kind of make a good decision, right? So we talked about Alonzo Ball. Look at that. 92 draft rank, the 24 DVP as far as the team rank goes, and 23rd versus the position. So Alonzo Ball is in a good position. You know, if you look at his last three games, he's trending up as far as his points and his minutes as well, all right? So I like Alonzo Ball. All right, guys, so you just pretty much go through each position and you look for those plays, all right? All right, so um, if you go to shooting guard, let's look at what is Reddick. What is Reddick rank, all right? Right here, J.J. Reddick, 26 DVP for the team, but 13 versus the position. But if you look at his uh, his, his, his uh, fantasy uh, points per game, the last three games he's up, all right? He's trending upwards, all right? 21% usage. He's Menace is trending up as well, all right? So... At 5K, I like this guy in a competitive match, all right? I understand he's not he's in a away game. I understand the possessions are down because of the pace of Brooklyn, but it's Brooklyn, guys. Come on, man. All right, so once you go through here and you add these players to your watch list, they will populate under your watch players here. And then when you go to lineup optimizer, it optimizes your line based off of your plays and, um, you know, it builds an optimal lineup. So I change it to the main slate. So as you can see right here, here's the optimal line that they spit out. All right, you got Ben Simmons, Chris Paul. He likes Jordan Clarkson, Lopez. There he go. Lonzo Ball. Dario Sarek is a good play too, guys. That may be somebody that you want to put in there if you're going to go away from LeBron. I like Nerlens Noel. He's been playing some good minutes over the last couple of games versus Nuggets. I played him in a spot as a GPP punt. And as you can see on the screen, he played 25 minutes and put up 30 DraftKings points. And his minutes are trending up. If Noel is playing, if he's starting, there may be a punt that you can use at 3.7K. And in a four-game slate, if everybody else is sleeping on him, that could be the uh, determining factor to get you up the uh, up the leaderboard, guys, and get you up into the cash. Because if he's low on and he goes off for 30 DK points versus Houston, you know, that could separate you guys. So, all right. So, all right, guys. So let's talk about the uh, player watch list. All right, so if you use the link in the description to uh, sign up for Draft Dashboard, there's a seven-day seven, uh, trial in there for a dollar. So click on the link and register for the trial. And if you go into your account and go to Watch Players and go to Watch Draft King Addicts Picks, 
So all of my picks that I select for my player pool will be populated into your list, and you can go in there and optimize your couple of lineups based off the player pool um, that I have. So, all right, guys. So that's how that works. Draft dashboard. Try it out. If you like it, keep the subscription. If you don't, cancel it. It's that simple, guys. But it's a nice, quick tool to uh, do your DFS research and uh, make some decisions on who, um, what plays you want to go with. Oh, let me go back to the draft dashboard. Let me show you something else that I discovered too, guys. Finding sleepers. These are players under 6K. All right, you can click on here to show all sales if you want to see everything, but I like uh, all the players under 6K. I go to the slate, and who's at the top? Brooke Lopez and J.J. Reddick, two of the players that I have in my uh, in my top picks for the day, guys. So you got Ronde Hollis Jefferson right here too, who's also been trending up as far as his play and his minutes. He's another sleeper. But again, I like this tool, guys. Go in there and check it out. All right, so good luck tonight, guys. All right, again, bankroll management. Don't play all your, your money in one night. Don't put all your big eggs in one basket, all right? We're playing for the long haul, guys, all right? So if you like the video, smash the like button. You enjoy the content, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you get my daily videos. It's rare that I don't put out a video, guys, but if it's like a, a weird thing where it's like a two or three game slate, which we shouldn't be seeing now toward this, this part of the season, you know what I'm saying? I, I probably wouldn't put out a video, but... I'll make an announcement on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter for any updates. And we also got MLB coming soon, guys. So if you're into playing MLB, um, I'll be putting out my picks for MLB once that gets started as well, guys. So, all right. And um, on Draft Dashboard, just to kind of throw one more thing out there, as you can see, we got NFL, NBA, NFL, uh, NHL, which is hockey, and baseball as well. So once all that is uh, is, is, uh, active, then uh, we can go on there too. And if you're a person that plays FanDuel, they have an option for fan do as well. But again, this is DraftKings Attic, so you know what I'm playing. All right, guys. So I'll let y'all tomorrow for the Monday slate so we can break that one down.